Hi, Le here with the solo team. Today, I am super excited to show you a demo of successfully failover over services running in EKS Anywhere to services running in EKS in public cloud. Let's get started. EKS Anywhere is a new deployment model that allows you to easily deploy EKS in your corporate data center. It opens up a bunch of new scenarios such as workload migration, application modernization, cloud bursting. And in this demo today, I have three clusters. My cluster one is running on the corporate data center in EKS Anywhere. In this cluster, I have Istio running, I have the famous booking for application along with Istio Ingress Gateway. For the review service, I only have review version one and review version two. I also have two clusters running AWS Public Cloud, cluster two running on Istio, Istio Ingress Gateway, I have review version 3 and the rating application. Cluster 3, which is the Glue Mesh Management Cluster. We're going to also, to make it interesting, to trigger a failover scenario. In this failover scenario, we're going to put reviews 1 and 2 in the first cluster to sleep. So they are not available. And then we are going to use Istio and Glue Mesh to successfully fade over the services to the cluster two. This is my Glue Mesh console on the left side and the right side. I have the booking for application running. As you can see, I have two clusters. Each of the cluster has Istio 110. I also have two Istio Ingress gateways. On my second cluster, it has the NLB um, AWS host name. This is my dashboard, just as I mentioned to you I have review version 1 and review version 2 in cluster 1 and currently there's no traffic to cluster 2. What I'm going to do next is trigger a failover scenario. To do that uh, we're going to put the reviews version 1 and version 2 in the first cluster to sleep 20 hours. Now what's going to happen when I hit the refresh button guess there's no service for the reviews up running, so sorry. Uh, let's see how we can get that fixed, right? This is not what you want to see in your production environment for sure. So what we're going to do next is create two glue mesh resources. The first resource we're going to create is called virtual destination. It indicates a global service name, reviews global in this case, for the entire virtual mesh. That includes both of my two clusters. The second resource we're going to create uh, is called traffic policy. It essentially says when the traffic comes from the product page on the first cluster, I want to route to the virtual destination I just created. So regardless well, you know, the reviews are running in which cluster, I want to be able to go to the global when the local is not running. Now, when we hit back on the booking for application, as you have guessed, it successfully fade over to the review version 3 of the second cluster. On the left side, you can see the observability console from Glue Mesh also pick that up automatically without you needing to do anything for this failover scenario. If you highlight the link, from product page to review version 3, you can get a little bit more detail about this traffic. What we're going to do next is enable the review version 1 and version 2 on the first cluster, right? So what do you think is going to happen now that the review service on the first cluster are up running and they are healthy? When you visit the book info, what's going to happen? Now, if we do visit our product page again, notice the traffic would only go back to the local cluster where the product page runs, which is review version one and two. The reason is 
we have tell in the virtual destination configuration we prefer local for low latency and better performance when local is not available we want to successfully fail over to the remote cluster as you can see traffic are back if you find this demo interesting check out solo.io we have a lot of resources to help you learning istio envoy and Gumash. thank you